Yesterday, the administration finally began to acknowledge what many have been saying for some time. Healthcare.gov is having major problems. The administration spent most of last week boasting about the high number of visitors to the federal site, but it conveniently left out a very important statistic, how many people actually were able to purchase insurance. Unlike the initial claims that the sites were crashing because demand was so high, it is clear now that the exchanges were failing because they appear to have major structural flaws. According to technicians at the, uh, and people at the Wall Street Journal, the site appears to be built on sloppy software, a sloppy software foundation. To make matters worse, even the information the website collected may be useless thanks to a security problem that corrupted a lot of the data. According to one estimate, 99 percent of the applications submitted may be facing data problems that will stop these applications. Members of the administration need to come to the Energy and Commerce Committee and start telling us the truth about this information architecture. Taxpayers have spent money, a lot of money, to build these sites. If they've been sold a pig and a poke, they need to know. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired.